Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, if you'd like, my name is Myra Murison and thank you for clicking on today's video. Uh, this is my Caladia White Fusions Diary and in case you don't know, I have been collecting prayer plants for a couple of years now. I really love them because of their unique and stunning foliage. I have two playlists dedicated to my prayer plants. Go check them out if you want to find out how I take care of them. I will leave all the links in the description box. It's handy for you. But anyway, uh, in this video, we're going to dive in with my Caladia White Fusion. I had a little hiccup with the plants, so without further ado, please subscribe if you're new here. Hit the bell to notify you every time I upload a video and get your tea ready. Let's get into this video. Hi guys, I have mentioned before that I have become obsessed with prayer plants and Caladia White Fusion was in my wish list for a very long time. It was very expensive and I just couldn't find myself getting it in case I killed it. Plus, it was hard to find back then. So, last year in August, I did a rare and uncommon plant swap with my very dear friend Adele from Lipaholic. And I couldn't believe she gave me a white fusion. And I was really shocked and oh, I was over the moon. <gasps> oh my god! Is this real? It look like fake. The plant is so tiny and cute. The foliage is so gorgeous and looks fake in person. It has plastic texture when you touch it. Very unique. And I was super happy when I received it. I couldn't thank Adele enough. Like I said, Caladia White Fusion was in my wish list for a very long time. Anyway, I discovered the plant. Super easy to take care of. Fast growing. Not a fussy prayer plant at all. I even divided it and gave the other half to Adele to add it to her plant collection. And the white fusion didn't give me any tantrums until the cold winter struck. Like a lady a white fusion, I am dying to put this inside the terrarium as the leaves are browning due to the lack of humidity. It keeps producing leaves but it's super sensitive when it comes to humidity. So I decided to put it inside the terrarium for the humidity. But that didn't last either. The leaves were still browning until my husband cleaned our windowsill and he tipped the terrarium. And all the plants inside the terrarium were damaged. I was so mad. I banned him for touching my plants. But however, uh, I thought this is the right time to remove the white fusion from the terrarium. So I did. The plant kept producing new shoots no matter how cold the winter is. It's just the leaves were browning. I decided to grow it on its own again. Put it in a small pot and let's see what happens. But same problem again. The plant wasn't looking good at all. So I cut it back instead to try to regrow them like I did to my Caladia Alberia. Which I will leave the link in the description bar if you haven't seen it yet. And voila! Here it is guys! She is thriving. It didn't take long till it produced new shoots. Super pretty. Look at it guys. Love it. There's new leaves there. Can you see? And there's another one here. <laughs> Super pretty, love it. This plant is inside my glass cabinet and it's happy right here. All right, like my other prayer plants, I water this with uh, filtered water from our fridge. Uh, when the soil is dry, that's it. No special treatment. I just leave this alone inside the glass cabinet uh, for the humidity. And the medium I use is the same multi-purpose compost mixed with perlite, orchid bark, and cocoa, and that's it. When it comes to lighting, it is receiving from bright to medium light uh, during spring and summer. Then low light in the winter season most of the time. But it's not going to be the same anymore as I received a grow light just recently. Uh, which I reviewed here in my channel. Link here if you want to check it out. But here she is once again. Super happy and healthy. from taking care of my prayer plants uh, don't be afraid to cut them back 
because uh, they are going to produce new shoots again like what happened to my Alberti eye in fact it's just not my Alberti eye I have another pair of plants yes it's floral I have a couple of them that I use exactly the same method on and they are regrowing again and I can't believe it it's going to be in a separate video so stay tuned for that as long as the roots are healthy go for it and be patient with your prayer plants they are divas yes but once you have the environment they require and you get to know their needs do's and don'ts they will reward you big time and you will end up collecting more of them i promise <laughs> anyway i hope you find this video helpful i really love sharing with you my experiences with my prayer plans so you get tips here and there and hopefully it will work with you uh patience is a must i lost a few of my colleges but that's okay i just have to get more right <laughs> just joking but anyway thank you for watching guys bye